Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Coyotes Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nick Snow Coyotes. I'm the founder and the director of the Coyotes Industry Spy Network and the Coyotes Nation. For some reason, touching the lenses of my glasses. That being said, we are back with some more of our Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Now, before we get started, I must disclose something. Because during my grinding session, we unfortunately lost Spike, our Weedle. So you will not be seeing Spike any longer unless we get a different Weedle. And I'll probably name him, name him like Spike 2 or whatever. But that being said, let's get straight into it. I've already been grinding for a little bit of time, as you can clearly see. We've got Volt, Vine, and Beak all at level 10. Volt and Beak are looking pretty darn cool. But Vine... He needs to catch up a little bit. I'll probably need to get him up to like level 11 or something. Now, I'm going to be doing a little bit of grinding on screen for you guys, so I can show you the method in which I've used before I've gotten my way into the uh, into the gym. Because I've not gone to the gym yet, but this is the grinding method in which I use. If I want to level up a certain Pokemon, I can do that using others. There is one thing to keep in mind. In one of my videos, I did mention that we will not be responding to your comments, but do not get me wrong, I will still read your comments and see what I can do. If you have a couple of questions for me, personally, you can always contact me at cisn at ctemplar.com. This is the email that we'll be using for business purposes, okay? Do keep that in mind. And again, if you would like to spell the email correctly, I will have it linked in the description below. But if you have any questions for me personally, let me know. Let me know through that. Or you can always let me know through the YouTube comments. Just know that I will not be uh, responding to your questions on YouTube unless I make a different uh, channel altogether. But I will still be taking your guys' feedback, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, there is another thing that I would like to discuss, because you guys have been killing it with my VR chat video. Do you guys want me to do more VR chat videos in the future and produce these for Kogyo Nation? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I will read your comments, but still. Because it seems I'm the VR chat guy. No, seriously. VR chat, unfortunately, is very wonky, and the devs are not going to do anything about it. Probably at the behest of some higher power that actually owns VR chat and not the developers themselves. Anyway. I'm going to level up Vine a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit, though. We'll Leech Seed Rattata. And he's going to tackle us, of course. But we will take a little bit from this guy. He doesn't even realize exactly what he's thinking. He does realize he's been had. Let's just do a quick growl. That killed him. <laughs> Actually, beforehand, let's switch Vine, because he will be our main combatant in the Pokemon gyms. And the reason why he'll be our main combatant in the Pokemon gyms is actually because of the fact that Grass seems to do really well against fighting types. What the heck is my mic doing on me? Anyway. By the way, I'm using the mic from my uh, tablet, which is being used to even record this, record my face in the first place. Anyway. We will be facing a gym today. Just so you guys know, we will be facing a gym this week. And the next week, I'll be catching some more Pokemon. So that's why I'm doing a little bit of grinding here for you guys, showing you exactly what I do. Usually, I don't have the battle animations on just to make it faster, because this game will take a long time to complete. It will take a long time to complete. So that's why I'm actually uh, going to be taking breaks every four, every month. I mean, I've only been doing this for a month now, actually. I've been doing Pokemon for a month, so... We'll see how that's gonna go for us. Now, there's another thing I would like to discuss now that I think about it. My voice. My voice can go... all over the place. 
Actually, it goes all over the place. But most of the time, it's lower than expected. But that's okay. Just so you guys know, uh, when my voice gets high, it's because I'm actually passionate. It shows my passion for um, something, like communication. There we go. Back up his patata. He's down. Level 11. Nice. And he's at 32. Alright, so... Let's go for the gym, shall we? This is probably going to be a shorter episode than expected, but hopefully we'll be able to go through the gym just fine. Let's heal them up. My Bulbasaur Vine will be at 32. It'll be at 32 HP the entire time. I will double check and see if I have any potions available. I have one potion available. So I'll probably go into the gym multiple times. I have, actually. I have 95. I have 95 uh, credits, so that's not gonna help. So, I guess I'm gonna have to do Brock's gem, and use the, um, potion in the process, so... Here we go. Alright, here we go. We are now in the gym. We're gonna be facing this junior trainer. Uh, two Pokemon. One of them will be a Diglett. We are the same level, so first things first, he's going to scratch us, but we will be leech seeding the Diglett. Now, we'll be doing a quick growl. He'll scratch us again. That's okay. He'll be leech seeding us, though. Actually, we will be leech seeding this guy. We'll fight. He's gonna scratch us again. But luckily, this is gonna happen. And before he dies, we will be using our potion. Scratches again, but we will be pulling this off. We'll tackle him again. He's dead. Diglett's dead. A sand shrew. All right, we have a sand shrew. Immediately, we will be leech seeding the sand shrew. He'll use a sand attack on us. Our accuracy falls, but we do get that up rather easily. So we will tackle real quick. Oh, we missed the tackle. He's gonna sand attack us again, but we are gonna leech seed the guy, so let's use a growl real quick. His attack falls. He's gonna scratch us, that's okay. Is this how I'm gonna kill him? Is this how I'm gonna kill the sand shrew? Okay, I'm gonna tackle this guy. It works. I crit it. He's gonna scratch. This guy doesn't realize I'm just sapping this guy. Ooh, I missed. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, Volt. That's okay, he's gonna scratch us. He's gonna take six from us, though. But we only get four instead. Do a Thunder Wave on this guy? Oh, it doesn't affect the Sand Shrew. Sons of Biscuits. Okay. Well, I guess this is how it's gonna work. Let's do a Thunder Shock. Oh, yeah. Duh. He's resistant. Okay. Um, Beak has 30, so let's do Beak real quick. Get him, Beak. He gets 5, though, so let's see how that's gonna go. Let's do a quick sand attack on this guy. Take out his accuracy a little bit. He'll also take out our accuracy. But we're just gonna sap him. We're just gonna sap this guy. Go for it. He's done. You're done. Crit, nice. That's a good hit. But the Sand Shrew is dead. Vine's now level 12. Sorry, buddy. 
and I get 220. 220 credits. Before the next battle, I will be healing up all of my Pokemon, so I'll head back to the Pokemon Center. We'll heal them up, and then while I'm at it, I will also be grabbing another potion. Again, we will be going into our gym, and I'm very lucky that I have, um, our boy Vine also handling us pretty well. He's the guy that's been carrying our team, so we will buy, we have 200. Oh, we have enough to buy a potion. I'm gonna do whatever I can to help my Pokemon out. But we know for sure, this next guy, he's gonna be a bit of a pain in the rear. We will see though. We shall see. Oh, look at that! It's gonna be Brock himself, ladies and gentlemen. So we shall see how this guy goes. Here we go, Brock. Gym Leader Brock. First Pokemon out is a level 12 Geodude. Alright, Vine. Let's get this guy a Leech Seed real quick. Need it. He's going to tackle us, though. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Not at all. We'll do a quick tackle. Let's see. Okay. It's not that much of a big deal. But he doesn't realize I have that. Let's use Volt. Get him, Volt. Defense Curl. You do realize you're gonna get sapped though, right? How about a quick Thunder Wave? Okay. You're gonna use Defense Curl. So he, he's not really going to do much. Do Quick Growl then. If he attacks, his attack's gonna fall. He's using Defense Curl again. Interesting. This is how I will take out all of the guys. Okay, Beak. Let's go, Beak. He'll tackle us, but that's okay. We'll gain two. That's fine. Let's do a quick gust. See how that's gonna go. Not bad. Rock hard defense two. Do a quick sand attack. He's gonna keep using defense curl. This is how we're gonna take out Geodude. How about that, Geodude? There we go. Defense curl again. That's okay. We are going to be sapping you, though. Nothing's happening. <laughs> yes. Alright, Vine. We got you covered, buddy. Bring you in. Defense curl, nothing's gonna happen. And we're also gonna take you out in the process. Quick tackle is all we need. Quick tackle is pretty much all we need. And then immediately into that. Sorry, you've been had. Not very effective, but the Geodude's down. Volt is now level 11. This, that's all fantastic. Beak is also level 11. I believe he'll go into a Pidgeotto. No. We do have as an Onix, though. This is a level 14 Onix. Well, a Leech Seed. He's gonna use Bide. That's interesting. This guy's gonna use a Bide. Oh, he evaded the attack, though. This time, it works. Now, we'll tackle this guy. Of course, after that happens. Alright, Beak. Let's bring you in. Let's bring you in, buddy. Unleash some energy, though, but it will only take two out of us. And we will be back to full health. Quick sand attack will do. Ooh, after I get tackled right quick. Not gonna help at all. But we will use the sand attack on the Onyx. And we use a gust real quick. After he tackles us. That's quite effective, too, actually, now that I think about it. 
a little concerning, at best. We'll just... Oh, he's gonna use a Screech. It's gonna fail. He's gonna use Bide. But he doesn't realize he's just being sapped. This guy's just being sapped, if anything. So, let's see how this is gonna go. Volt, let's bring you in, buddy. Unleashing some energy? That's okay. He just doesn't realize he's been had, though, so... We're gonna do a quick Thunder Wave on this guy, even though it doesn't affect him. Oh, he missed. Oh, right, because of that sand attack I gave him. We're gonna use Thunder Shock, but it's not gonna affect him either. He will use Bite. Luckily, um, I'm just using these underhanded techniques. We're gonna give him a quick growl, take out his attack, by the same token, also take this out as well. Let's bring in Vine real quick. I'm gonna tackle him a couple times. Energy unleashed, but the attack missed. He's gonna use Bite again, he doesn't realize the Leech Seed's going to work absolutely well, and he's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the Onyx is gone. And that means Brock is also done. Now we will be receiving the Boulder Badge. Flash can now be used at any time, and I get 1300 for winning. I will also get Team 34. Team 34 is Bide, so I will need to get an Atom Slave. Now, we have us some pretty good shenanigans. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have six Pokeballs. Quite a few different items, and a TM34. I did not even have to use a single uh, potion in this battle against Brock, because the Leech Seed is what helped us out a lot. I really should have had an Ivysaur, though. I, I really should have made Vine my Ivysaur. Because he does evolve into an Ivysaur, and then he'll evolve into a Venusaur. A little bit of time later, so... Yeah, that's gonna go. We'll go straight to the Pokemon, since I have 1,300. We shall see exactly what I do. I have 1,400 now, actually. We'll buy a couple potions. Just a couple potions will do. We will definitely need a couple's... Oh, no! We can only use one escape rope then. Let's get us an escape rope. And then we'll get an awakening. This is for when a Pokemon is asleep. Just to be prepared. So, let's check out the town. Wait, that's actually another Pokemon. That's a Nidoran. Nidoran? Which Nidoran, though? What's this here? Hmm. Anyway, let's go up to here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this I think is the museum. You have to pay 50 to get into that. Yep, it is the museum. That is what I thought. I guess we can go into a new area and catch another Pokemon. So we'll have to head to Mount Moon. There's a Moonstone. But I need to get a, a Thunder Rock or whatever that stone is to 
Actually, I'm, I'm just gonna keep my Pikachu, honestly. So we are now in a new route. I think this is a new route. Let's get us into another trainer battle real quick. We'll be challenged by this lass here. She'll send out a level 9 Pidgey. Sorry, Vine, but I think you can make do. He'll use Sand Attack on us. Cram, let's Leech Seed this guy. Please. We gotta pay for that. Do quick tackle here. Another sand attack to take out our accuracy a little bit. But he's being seated, so. Oh, poor sap. We'll just do a quick growl here. And he's gonna use another sand attack on us, but we're gonna be full health. Almost full health. Do a quick tackle. It's gonna work. Take out the Pidgey in the process. Now he's level 13. So I'm making an Ivy Sword this episode. And he gets Vine Whip. Ouch. Got another Pidgey. Alright. Volt. Go for it. Let's do a quick Thunder Wave. Let's paralyze him. We're gonna use the standard attack on us though. It is a dirty tactic, but we're gonna. Oh, we're not gonna use that. Okay. We're gonna use a quick. Alright. Alright, Vine. Let's bring you in. Fully paralyzed. Vine whip. Do a quick Vine whip. How powerful is that move? Not that powerful. Alright. He is paralyzed though, so this guy's pretty much done. Yeah, th this guy's done. He's gonna stand attack us. But let's leech seed. We'll do a quick leech seed. He evaded the attack. Why? Do another leech seed. He evaded it again. You want me to waste my leech seed, don't you? This time, it's gonna work. And we're gonna use another sand attack because why the heck not? But by the same token, He's also going to be had there. Now, Beak. You're going in Beak. Of course you have to sand attack us. But you're being had. Another sand attack on you. He's going to use a quick gust. He's going to take us out a little bit. Quite a bit, actually. He's going to take us take us out by eight. We're going to use another gust on this guy. Immediately kill the Bidgey. 34 on each. My Pokemon are that good. He's kind of a problem. But I did get 135 out of this girl, so I'll take it. And for those that don't play Pokemon, if you happen to win a Pokemon Trainer Battle, you will get a little bit of money, as per usual, when it comes to Pokemon standards. Especially since my Pokemon are absolutely huge, at least at this point. I'll do another Trainer Battle for you guys and then end this episode. Here we go. Hey, I met you in the Viridian Forest. All right, my dude. So you already know about me. It's this book catcher. He's got three Pokemon. First off, a Caterpie. Okay, Vine. He's a level 10 Caterpie. Let's start with the Leech Seed. He's gonna tackle us, though, but little does he know that. Let's do a quick Vine Whip on this guy. How does it affect Bug? Oh, it affects Bug quite well, actually. Even though it's not that effective. Because he's a Bug-type, let's face it. Anyway, we're gonna do a quick tackle. 
I am in a growl. Maybe I can use a string shot on us, though. That's interesting. Taking out our speed a little bit? That's okay. We don't need speed. He's gonna tackle us a little bit, but he doesn't realize he's just the... Yeah. That's been happening. Simple enough, it's only a level, level 10 Caterpie, though. Now that's gonna be very interesting. We're gonna use another tackle on this guy, and the Caterpie is out. With this guy, still have full health. Ooh, this guy's gotta send out a Weedle. Alright, Leech Seed. Immediately, Leech Seed. He'll poison us, though. At least he'll try to poison us. Baiting the attack. Okay, another Poison Sting. Finally, he's been seeded. Let's use a quick growl. After a poison sting. Alright. Volk, you're going in. Of course, you're gonna do you're gonna be dirty if you use a string shot. Not realizing you're being sapped. Quick thunder wave on this guy. Yeah, this is gonna work. Paralyzed! Fully paralyzed! Yeah! Too shocking of a personality to even fight, huh? How about that? Ooh, that's really good against Bug type. I'm using both for this for this weevil here. Here we go. How about another thunder shock? Too shocking of a personality for you, huh? How about that? Right, final canopy. Actually, first things first. Fine, you'll go in and see the Caterpie. You'll see the Caterpie here. There we go. No tackles, but that's okay. No big deal, if you ask me. Immediately, we will be sending in Beak. Beak hasn't gotten much of a chance yet in this battle. He'll tackle us for eight, actually for six. He'll tackle us for six. We'll use a sand attack on this guy. Let's do a couple more sand attacks. We'll sap him. He'll tackle us, but that's okay. That's okay. No big deal. We'll just sand attack this guy. He's gonna string shot us. Not realizing he's been had here. And by the same token, we're also gonna gust this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a good hit indeed. Here we go. Done. I'm gonna gust him again. I think this will kill him. That will kill him indeed. Caterpie is gone. Sorry, buddy. Now we'll get a hunter for that. Weak. Weak. Nah, he's, he's given whatever he has. I completely understand that. Well, yeah. That will end this episode of our Nuzlocke from... Really good episode so far. Really good progress. Now, we will be catching another Pokemon in the next episode. So stick around for that. But, if you like this episode and want to see more like this in the future, you can do this one of four ways. You can hit the subscribe button to become a member of the Coyote Nation, hit the like button to show your support to the Coyote Nation, and hit the bell icon to be notified when new episodes arrive every Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also share this channel with your family and friends. I would like to create an absolute community of general gamers, especially those who happen to use Linux, but you don't have to use Linux to enjoy gaming on emulators or stuff like that. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and good night.